In this video, I will show you how to use the Assignments tool and how to submit your homework assignments. I'm going to click on Assignments, and just like the Lessons and Forums tool, your assignments are released on a weekly basis, so you won't see all your assignments throughout the course of the semester. Um, you'll only see them a week at a time. But you can go back and view old assignments at any time. So for now, I have essay number one and the creating thesis and outline assignment that corresponds to essay number one. Click on essay number one, and you have information for each assignment, such as the assignment title, the due date, and the points assigned or associated with the assignment. Modified by instructor just means if I went in and changed any of the settings within this assignment, such as when I want to open or close the assignment. In the instruction section, this tells you how to access the assignment. So you're going to open the link to essay number one. You're going to be prompted to make a copy. And then of special importance here, you're going to submit this assignment to turnitin.com. So all your homework assignments will be submitted through the assignments tool, except for your final drafts of your essays. I have a separate video that will show you how to use turnitin.com. For now, though, let's go ahead and click on essay number one. And then we're going to click make a copy. This will be your copy, and you can do whatever you want with it. So you can read the assignment over, click out of it, and that's pretty much all you need to know for essay number one, because again, we're not submitting essay number one through the assignments tool. The final drafts for all the essays will be submitted through turnitin.com. So I'm going to go back to assignments and we're going to take a look at creating thesis and outline. This assignment you will submit through the assignments tool. So again, to view this assignment, you're going to click on the link and you're going to make a copy. And then I ask you to change the sharing settings to comment, so I'm able to comment on your assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that right now, show you how to change those settings, and then how to actually put your assignment into this text box to submit. So let's click on the link. I'm going to make a copy. So again, this is your copy. You can do whatever you want with it. If you want to use this as um, the basis for your homework assignment, that's fine. You can type right on it. So as an example, who or what is my subject about? I'm just going to put personal statement. So you can see you can type right on the document. And then you can go ahead and finish the document in this way, the assignment. When you're finished with your assignment, click on Share. And when that pops up, you want to come to this section where it says Change Link, and you'll see the different options. So you can leave it as University of Hawaii. This means only someone who's logged in using their Gmail through the University of Hawaii can actually view the link. You can change this if you want to anyone with the link. We're just going to leave it here to University of Hawaii, but what you also need to do is click on Viewer and change that to Commenter. If you don't change that, then I'm unable to leave any comments on your document. Um, I don't need to be an editor. This means I can actually change what you've written, which I don't want to do. I only want to be able to leave comments on your assignment. So now that we've changed the sharing properties or settings, we can click on copy link. I'm just going to click inside the box and I like using control C for copy. Done. And I'm going to go back to Lalima assignments. And what I'm going to do, you can type whatever you want in here, like homework assignment number one. I'm going to cre type creating pieces and outline. Then we're going to highlight this. We're going to hit the link. 
and then I'm going to hit Control V for paste. You can also use your mouse, however you like to, to do that. I'm going to hit OK. So now this is a link to your assignment that I can go to and comment on. Once I'm happy with this, I'm going to hit Submit. And once you have successfully submitted your work, you're going to get this message telling you as much. You will also receive an email letting you know that your work was received. So if you don't see this message and you don't get an email telling you that your work was received, then it wasn't received. And then you need to contact me. I can always reopen La Lima for you to resubmit a, a, an assignment, but um, you'll have to let me know if something goes wrong. So I'm going to click back to list and it tells us now that this assignment was submitted on August 1st at 1258 p.m. If you have any questions about submitting assignments, please let me know. I also want to show you really quickly, going back to this assignment, that it's a good idea to organize your work. Um, so you can hit File and you can hit Move and that will take you to your main drive, your Google Drive. And you can set up folders. For example, I have English 100. And if I click here, I can move my assignment into my English 100 folder. And if you're not sure how to do that, really quickly, we'll go over to Google Drive. And if you don't know how to find Google Drive, you can always just start by going to your email, your uh, Gmail, and then clicking on this icon and then all of the different options you have available as uh, college students pop up so you can click on drive to create create a folder click new click folder and then give your folder a title and then it will be housed here in your drive and you can save your work for this class and other classes if you're using Google for your other classes there as well. Thank you.